Hello guys, Shrimp Farm here and finally I got some time uh, to make another English movie. I know I promised this movie a while ago, but I had some job issues, let's uh, call it like that, uh, that I had to manage and now I have a little bit of time uh, to make another talk about uh, my tanks. Today we will uh, talk about uh, crossbreeds. Uh, and the different types uh, of crossbreeds that I make uh, on my farm. Uh, here you can see my 27 liters tank uh, with, uh, with tank ties. Uh, in this tank, as you can see, uh, there are some uh, F1 shrimps. For example, this one with uh, eggs. And we have even come to F3 uh, shrimp. Uh, this is uh, the number of uh, generations that I have crossbred uh, them. I also put uh, to this tank uh, some, some of my uh, pinto shrimps, uh, the German pinto, so the tank ties. Uh, there were in this tank as well because I wanted to have a very big mix of uh, genetics. Uh, now you will be able to see the F3 generation uh, in the close-up. As you can see, the most of the body is uh, covered with pigmentation and uh, we start to see the piano type. This is a F3 for sure. I, I have 100% confidence that this is uh, the F3 generation. Uh, I have some, a, a little number of those shrimps in this tank uh, because I had a little setback with my uh, tank. Another thing uh, in this tank tie mix, you can see uh, the steel blues. Uh, they are quite common uh, in this mix and I think that I will make from this tank uh, the separate tank with uh, the population of uh, steel blues. Uh, I wonder with uh, making uh, the tank tie shrimp if it's possible to come uh, to the galaxy. I'm sure that in Pintos I got some uh, galaxy shrimps. Uh, but I have never got a tank tie a cross breeded shrimp uh, with the galaxy pattern. We'll see in a time if it's uh, possible. Right now I won't uh, make a big selection of those shrimps. I want to have the mix uh, grow by itself to get a higher quantity of the shrimps. And after that, I will put those shrimps in a tank uh, that have like, I don't know, 50 gallons or so and make the population even bigger. And after acquiring uh, a big enough population, uh, I will decide uh, to put those shrimps uh, into separate tanks with different patterns. Uh, on this picture, you can also see the uh, pinto, the German pinto shrimp that I've put it in this uh, tank. It's a uh, backline uh, and I hoped that the backline, if we get some galaxy shrimps, I will also achieve uh, something like boa uh, and this kind of shrimp because I don't know how to breed boas. I don't know how uh, the Asian breeders uh, achieved uh, this pattern. And this is the classic uh, tank tie hybrid that you can see on this picture. A lot of them. Uh, they are quite similar in the pattern. We can see a little bit of stronger pigmentation uh, with uh, the most of the pigmentation uh, similar uh, to Tangerian Tiger. And here is another F3 in this tank uh, swimming with I'm not sure how we could call that pattern. This is my another tank. Uh, this tank is with uh, Pintos uh, from my greater German pinto, Pintos from my greater tank uh, with Pintos. Uh, in the other tank with Pintos, uh, I got uh, a big domination of black color. And because the black is the stronger gen, uh, the main reason to separate uh, the shrimps is to achieve uh, another red uh, color shrimps. 
and try to develop uh, the patterns of uh, tank ties in those tank with only red color. I think that the next uh, generations will also give some uh, black shrimps because because of the genetics but uh, after a time I, I think that it will take about a year to achieve a good nice pattern. Uh, those shrimps are breeded on my own produced soil. Uh, you can say uh, in the comments what you think about this soil. Uh, I only produce this soil right now for the farm use. Maybe in future uh, it will be also in sale. But right now I need to make the production uh, process well enough, sure enough uh, that uh, I, I won't have any hesitations to give this soil to other people. Uh, getting back to this tank, uh, in this tank there's also a backline pattern. I hope that you will be able to see that pattern. And I think the, that there might be a shrimp with the uh, little of galaxy pattern, but uh, this pattern is low. We have uh, low small spots on the shrimp. I'm not sure if it will be on the close up, but uh, let's wait uh, for a while and we'll see the close up ups and we'll be able to say that. And as you can see here, this is the backline. I'm, I'm not sure, it's not a full backline. It's something like even not a, not full skunk pattern, but we have a little of a backline on the shrimp. And I want to achieve maybe even some, uh, some fish bones, red fish bones. It would be quite interesting because you can see those uh, on Polish market uh, too often. As you can see, this pattern isn't developed well enough. Uh, but uh, the most important thing for me is that this pattern is uh, available in the shrimp. So there are genes guns that will uh, again so genes oh my god uh, that will uh, spread this pattern among other uh, baby shrimps and maybe this pattern will uh, develop even more and maybe will achieve the thanks to the shrimp the full uh, backline pattern This is another example of quite interesting shrimp because on the nose of the shrimp, I think it's called uh, rostrum, ronstrum, I'm not sure, uh, you could see the galaxy pattern. And here we got almost full uh, backline with quite interesting uh, red and black coloration. This is another thing uh, that is uh, quite a uh, mystery for me, let's call it like that, uh, why we got uh, those black uh, coloration on red shrimps. I'm not sure, is it genetics and it's normal, uh, independent from the tank parameters, or is it something that uh, involves the, 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 the parameters that the tank has, uh, the GH, KH, etc. I'm not sure. I need to check that uh, as well. It's something like with hulks. You know, so, some people say that hulks are uh, just uh, the reason of the parameters, that the coloration, the green coloration is despite of the lack of the black pigmentations. Some people say that it's genetics and a different type of shrimp coloration. And, and this is my another tank. This is the tank that I told you about, the uh, big mix tank with German Pintos and hybrids, so tank ties. Uh, and in this tank, I try to spot the interesting patterns that I will be able to select to other tanks. And this is one of the quite interesting pattern. Uh, I love the coloration of the rostrum and of the legs of the shrimp. Sorry. Sorry, I had to, to shut up 
my uh, telephone. <laughs> okay, so this is the coloration of the legs and the coloration of the head. Uh, these are hybrids that you get in my tank. As you can see, there are a lot of spots, a little bit of uh, galaxy even type. So uh, I try to achieve from those hybrids the most interesting patterns, but I let them uh, breed as there are, you know? So I don't select uh, the special type of the shrimp to cross breed. I just let them be like it is. And the, some of those shrimps goes for the sale for other poly, Polish breeders so that they can also try to develop interesting pattern. Okay, now we have another type of the shrimp uh, from the higher tank. Uh, I think we can call it a still a red bolt but with a very, very nice coloration. This is another pattern that I will love to separate from, from my tanks because of the quality uh, of the coloration. As you can see, whole eggs got the special color and here you get uh, the full, not full, not full, it's just a part of the tank, but you can uh, see in a general how does this uh, mixed tank uh, look like. I got something like uh, four or five tanks from 30 to, to 60 gallons with these types of uh, mix. So, some of them are just true Pintos and some of them are mixed of Pintos and mix of hybrids. Uh, and I try to develop uh, my uh, crossbreeds thanks to this big amount of shrimp uh, that I can choose from. It, it makes a lot of possibilities uh, to decide which uh, pattern I want to develop. And I hope that through the time I will be able to have some tanks with like five, six hundreds of shrimps with a separate uh, pattern. And that's all. Let me know guys if you like this movie and if you want to hear more. I hope that next movie will be quite uh, faster and it will be probably about Bucephalandras and my latest purchase. Thank you for your attention. Goodbye.